Okay, let's set up some integrations. We'll set up two basic integrations for now, but the workflow is pretty much the same for, for everything where in pretty much all the cases, you can add an API key that you can find in the, um, um, in the profiles of the tools that you want to connect to clay. And then in some cases it works with auth. So let's set up HubSpot because a lot of people that I know will be watching there, you know, using HubSpot where here you get to choose an account, you go to add an account and it will take you to the auth screen for HubSpot. I set up a quick demo account. You choose that one and, um, then, you know, you're ready to start using HubSpot with clay. Um, and that means that you can then sync data between clay and between HubSpot. Um, so accounts being connected, there we go. And now you can get data out of HubSpot, enrich it, score it, or you can push data into HubSpot. You can use HubSpot for your do not contact list. For example, so you can say whenever I'm syncing data to smart lead, then first check HubSpot. If the record does not exist, then go ahead. Um, and that's what we, um, that's what you can do with the HubSpot or Salesforce or close integration or whatever CRM you're, you're setting up. Then, um, smart lead is another one that we've set up. Um, it's really straightforward. You go to add an account and you add your API key in here, which you can find in your smart lead profile, you hit authenticate and that's everything. And for pretty much all the other integrations, it's the same thing. You set it up by adding your API key and, um, uh, you're good to go. Same goes for Appify, same goes for, for anything else. So, um, not a lot of sense for me to, um, um, to make really um to go through all of the integrations if you ever get stuck with one just let me know happy to help you out but in 99 out of 100 cases you grab your api key you drop it in there and you're good to go